Welcome to another episode of Mecha Drew Tries, and today's game is Grit and Valor 1949. It is a strategy roguelite slash, what's a good way to describe it? I guess tower defense? Uh, with It's in an alternate World War II where uh, mechs have been uh, built, so you know, it's kind of mechanized combat. Uh, the war never really ended, at least the way it seems. There's not a whole lot of story to the game yet, this is just the demo build, but uh, it's got mechs in it, look kind of interesting, though. I thought we'd uh, give it a try. 1949. World War II rages on. The evil Axis forces have destroyed Europe with their legion of giant mechs. Most of the Allied forces have been defeated. The few survivors have been pushed back to the North Atlantic. The Axis death squads hunt down the remaining civilians, forcing any survivors into labor camps deep underground. But hope remains. A small group of Allies have regrouped off the coast of Scotland and prepare their captured mechs for a deadly mission. Their plan is to travel deep into enemy territory and detonate an EMP in the Axis HQ, known as Machine Tower. The explosion will disable all Axis mech production and take down their communications. This elite squad is known as the Resistance, and they are the last hope to save the world. Okay, welcome to the training grounds. Commander, I'm General Larkin, and I'm here to teach you the crucial know-how needed for an upcoming mission. I'll provide you with essential strategic and tactical insights to keep you safe on the battlefield. Commander, first let me introduce your command vehicle. If it is destroyed, the mission is lost. It must be protected at all costs. To protect your command vehicle, you'll have an elite squad of mechs. However, in training today, you only have an ironclad mech at your disposal. Now you know the units you'll be commanding, let's learn how to observe the battlefield. Alright, so click and drag the middle mouse button to move the camera. Okay, good to know. Okay, we also can use the uh, WASD keys. So you click and drag the right mouse button to rotate. Okay. It's a little backwards from what I like to do. I like the middle mouse click to rotate and the right to move, but that's fine. And use it to zoom. Okay. Good job, Commander. Our enemies will approach via helicopter, so make sure to keep an eye out for incoming threats. Here comes an enemy now, so let's get you up to speed with how to command your squad in combat scenarios. Okay, so we can click on him to select him. Left click a tile. Use your mech to eliminate the enemies. And you... Actually, no, we want to go over here. Okay. Nice work, Commander. Tactical positioning of your units will aid you greatly in combat and pairing. The advanced strategies I'm about to teach you with the correct positioning will prove vital. The first of these is knowing that units have strengths and weaknesses. Your ironclad mech is a ballistic class unit, so it is strong against fire. So right here, yeah, it kind of gives you, in the top right-hand corner, it gives you kind of a rock-paper-scissors layout. So, you know, ballistic can hurt fire, fire hurts... I'm guessing those are missiles. I'm not really sure what that, that weird little icon is. And then that icon, you know, defeats ballistic. So that kind of makes sense. The incoming mech is a fire class, so ours attacks will have an increased chance to deal critical hits when attacking it. So we want to... where is it? Can't move yet, so so we can... we don't even have to move, it'll just kill it. Your ironclad made quick work of that mech, but while it can easily dispose of fire class units, you want to avoid explosive class units, as it's vulnerable to their attacks. Okay, so explosives. Good to know. When your mechs attack from high ground, their advantage will be increased, and the greater the height advantage, the greater the damage increase. Okay. So if I get up here... Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's go up here. So they're right there. Yeah, come on. I said, let's move. I wanted to right-click instead of left-click. Okay. 
Now you've learned some offensive approaches. Let's get you familiar with a defensive strategy, as you will want to avoid taking too many hits if our mission is to be successful. And to avoid taking hits, you'll want to make use of cover on the battlefield. While the units are in cover, the cover will absorb attacks that are made against them. Okay, so we want to move you to here. Over here. So there's a training dummy, I guess, is what those are. Okay, so we're we're blocking most of the damage there. Okay. Not a scratch on your mech, the cover is doing its job perfectly, but with it taking all those hits, it'll eventually be destroyed, so use it tactically. There's just one last thing I need to go over with, and that's objectives. Objectives will feature on each battlefield and are optional to undertake, but will offer additional resources if you choose to complete them. Okay. Let's go here. We, yeah. And I think when you win, you get like abilities or you know things that can strengthen your mech good work you'll encounter plenty of different objectives which will require you to undertake different actions so be aware and with that you learned everything you need to know um aren't you forgetting something ah of course how could i forget about our esteemed pilots who control the mechs each pilot has their own ability which can be used to turn the tide in battle Abilities are activated by clicking the ability button on your mech. So I guess this one. Mech jet allows a mech to leap across the terrain, dealing damage to enemies where it lands. Okay, so if I do this. Nice. Nothing scarier than seeing 100 tons of steel flying towards you, but just remember that each ability has limited uses, so make sure to use them strategically. Yeah, we got like seven uses on that one. And with that, you're now ready to take the fight to the Axis. Good luck out there, and you can return to the training grounds later if you need a refresher on anything. Victory! Okay, and this is kind of where the roguelite elements start to kind of come into play. Commander, it's time to begin Operation Lionheart. This will take us through the British Isles, where we'll need to capture a scientist to help with the construction of our EMP. This scientist is being held in the southern part of the region. Intel reports tell us of Axis General named Eisenhart is guarding the location, so ensure you're prepared for a fight. We've tried to negotiate for the innocent scientists to be freed, but General Eisenhart broadcasts this message in the British Isles. Attention resistance scum, your feeble attempts at liberation will falter before the will of the Axis. Surrender now and I shall spare you from the wrath of my war engines. The scientist is key to our plans, and I shall not relinquish him so easily. Prepare for annihilation. The might of the Axis knows no bounds. We will need you to infiltrate the region and rescue the scientist, Commander. You'll need to go behind enemy lines and fight your way south. Along the way, we have some objectives which will help push back the Axis and assist the resistance. Good luck, Commander. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um... Similar to other games, if you ever played things like uh, Slay of the Spire and other, you know, deck building kind of games or turn-based ones, you'll notice, you know, we have a branching path, so some of these are different uh, strengths of enemies. I'm going to guess the one down here in the middle that's kind of goldish color. That's probably like an elite. So for now, I guess we will go here. Okay, so we've got, looks like we can capture, we've got a flame unit and one of those. Okay, we got two things to capture. So while we're waiting, what happens if we just capture immediately? Oh, that takes a while, doesn't it? You need to get way out of here. Oh, oh. Nice. Can you not hit? Okay, I'm taking too much damage. I was hoping I could I could do something about those guys. Let's get you in here. Oh, you need to get out. Get out! There's a lot going on.
Do we use that ability on him? Okay, so what do we got? Flames. Probably should go in here. Yeah, turn around. Good. Yeah, I'm not trying to. The flame guy needs to... Let's see. Yeah, you need to attack here. Alright, good job, guys. Alright, we're gonna move you over here. So we need to attack with, yeah, we need to attack with the, attack with you. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> okay, doing all right. We could, okay, so we can repair. Last waves down there. Okay, let's go ahead and move you here. Really, if we just set them all up on this side, I don't think they're going to be able to do much. Ooh, they've got a mech. Eh, not too bad. Okay. So let's see. We need to pick a card. While your fire mechs are in cover, their damage is increased. That's good. Fire mechs have increased fire rate. When your fire mechs deal critical damage, they have a chance to heal. Ooh, that's kind of good, too. I think for now that we'll do covering fire. Okay, and it doesn't really matter. It's just regular combat for both. Although, if we do this one, we might be able to talk to someone. I don't, I don't know what the blue is, but we'll we'll go for it. All right, and everybody really needs to be repaired. <laughs> Where's the first enemies? Alright, I need my flame unit up here. And you need to get out of the way. Okay, got those. While you're waiting, let's see if we can... We go and do this. Oh, we have to defend it. Oh, okay. Let's see, that's good against flame units. So let's put you up here. Let's bring you back a little. Nicely done. Okay, good job. We're just kind of hanging here. I feel like if I just keep my units kind of here, we're good. Nope, nope, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. You should have a way to cancel. Okay, what do you got for me? Let's back him off. There we go. We need to repair you. Okay, they're coming from that side. Let's get you up there. And we will put you right there. And we're doing okay. Come on. Four of six. Okay, we're going to move back over here. I wish I had a place to stand better. Actually, let's let's cancel that. No, no, that's fine. That seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, let's see if we can repair this guy. That's a good ability. And. Poison mechanic. Okay, not good. Gotta get out. Yeah, let's see if we can go and help. You're getting beat up. I gotta get you out of here. We need to kill him. 
There we are. All right. I kind of wish we could heal between rounds. That would be kind of nice. Okay, uh, ballistic mix are below 50%. They increase damage resistance. Mm, and then, let's see. High ground. I kind of like the first one. Okay, so we have a, a scenario. Present you with a difficult choice. Ooh. I think that's what we want. So we can upgrade enhancement max, take 25 damage. Or we can ignore it. I don't know if we can afford... We really can't afford for the mechs to take 25 right now. So I'm going to I'm have to skip it. That sucks. And now we've got advanced combat. Okay, so we're all on fire. That's wonderful. Let's actually go stand right here. And then I'm going to use... Let's see, flame. So I need him. Oh, not good. We got to get out. Okay, just barely made it out of there. Okay, we need to repair everybody in the area. Ready for orders. Moving out. Enemy approaching. Another flame unit so we can bring bring you up. Okay, gotta get you over. Don't really care for the uh, the bombing here. Another flame unit. They okay, got him. Get everybody out of the way. Alright, what we got over there? Another flame. Oh, good. They're hurting themselves. Nice, okay. Gotta get out of here, gotta move. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, he took some damage, that's not good. Let's repair. Where's the next bombing? Okay. We really need to get them back over there. At least they're over there, though. Oh no, not my mech. You need to drop back bad, dude. We are in a bad position here. Okay, so we gotta get you over here. Get him out of the way here. Oh, we lost a mech. We are not doing well. Thankfully, this is the last, uh, last wave. Yeesh. Okay, your mechs have increased fire rate. They have damage resistance. Uh, I guess the middle one is rare. Okay, uh, one of your mechs has been destroyed, but you'll have a chance to retrieve it at the scavenger ahead. Okay. Ooh, black coins. Uh, what's black coins? Let's do coins. As you press onward, leaving the shack behind, the age figure rises to his feet and with a swift motion hurls a backpack in your direction. As the bag lands with a thud, it con its contents spill forth, revealing a cascade of currency. With a solemn salute, the old man silently communicates his support. Well, that's nice. Let's... yeah, let's scavenge. Uh, yes. Let's... I would love to restore all of them. But bringing back the one mech is, is uh, important. That's pretty much going to eat up all of our coin. Okay. Yeah, that would it would have been nice to have more. Okay, so now that must be an elite. All right, so let's see. 
Defend the command vehicle, and then damage dealt with explosive class. Well, or explosive, everybody's on fire. Yes, Commander. Let's see, what do you got? Flames are coming, so let's let's keep up here. Let's see if we can just defend this little spot. Get him. Alright, good. We may be doing like mus musical chairs here. Okay, so what kills that? Explosive. Let's move you over here. And the gunner. Okay. Come on, get him. Alright. Now what do we got? We got another wave coming. We repair. Let's see more of that. Ooh, don't kill him. Oh no! Come on. I don't quite ha understand how to do that. It says reinforce. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to win this because I... Yeah, that's going to be bad. You need to move. We need our gunner back. Let's see if we can do this. They're all flame units, which we're bad against. That figures. You're going to have to run. Okay, let them just... Ready for orders. Hey, that worked. Is this wave... Oh, we still got one more wave. Great. Uh, so, oh, I've got zero. That's why it's not working. Okay. This is going to be a problem. You need to move back here. We are we are so barely holding together. Oh no! Get out! Get out! Get out! Run! Okay, I think this is it for us. Say good night. Okay, so for losing, we get to have scrap. Or we can have Valor to upgrade our pilot's ability. I think I'm going to do the... I would want, I would rather have the Scrap more than the Valor. Commander, good to see you back in one piece. I hope my teachings and training grounds proved useful out in combat. Now you're back at the Resistance base. I'll take you through what you can upgrade between your attempts. Our space is limited on the island off the coast of Scotland, but we're, we're made sure to fill it with as many useful facilities and people as possible to aid us in the success of our mission. The junkyard shop should be your first port of call. There are scavenger will sell upgrade modules to you, which can be used to improve your mechs. Head over there now. But first, here's some scrap, because I doubt she'll let anything go for free. Okay, so where do we want to go? Junkyard. Okay, uh, Anita Carvel. I run the junkyard shop here at the base. You'll also find me out in the field where I'm doing my scavenging. Maybe I'll have a little something for you if you find out find me out there. While I'm at the base, though, I'm exclusively sell upgrade modules, which can be used to increase the strength of your mechs. However, they're going to cost you some of that scrap that you've earned from your missions, if you want to get your hands on them. Okay, so we're going to buy a bulkhead. Gives us 150 armor. I like that. All right, that's a good one. Ripped it off a thunderhead out in the field. It wasn't destroyed, mind you, so the owner wasn't best pleased when they returned. 
Anita must have liked you. Normally she charges newcomers double, but now you have an upgrade module, you should head over to the mech yard where our engineer will equip it for one of your mechs. Okay. So the, these are the kind of the roguelite elements. We can buy parts to upgrade our mechs between runs. Morning, nothing like a cup of joe to start the day. I'm Reginald, but everyone calls me Reggie. I make sure all the resistance mechs are fighting fit. I see you have an upgrade module. If you go ahead and let me know where you are, where on your mech to equip it, I'll get it welded on in no time. All right, so the only one we can do is the ironclad. So how do I do that? Oh, right there with this body. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's the module. And that's welded on for you. Now your mech will have some armor every time you take it out on a mission. There's plenty of other equipment slots that your mechs have available, so make sure to keep coming back to increase the strength of your mechs further. Reggie's a good man, though I'm worried about him as he drinks nothing but coffee. Anyway, it's probably about time to be checked in with your pilots. Let's head over to the barracks, and while we're there, we'll you'll be able to assist them in their training. So in a way, it's kind of like the Battletech game. It doesn't seem like you can customize your mechs other than you know what type they are but at least you can put you know upgrades on it so that's kind of cool in the barracks you can issue valor to your pilots which will boost the morale and in turn help them with their training when issuing the valor you'll be able to direct the pilot into what area they should focus their training so we can do damage charges range or takeoff okay so you must be the mech jet okay deploy mines so this is our gunner Right now, this is our explosive guy, and then is this the flame mech? Let's see, more charges would be nice. More damage would be nice. How much valor we got? We only got 150. And of course, they cost 60, so we can only do two. Uh, let's see, deploys mechanic, which prepares the mech's health. I like being able to heal. I think I would like that. Well-trained pilots will be pivotal to our mission success, and you'll earn lots more valor to further train your pilots as you finish missions. Excellent. Your units are upgraded and equipped. Head over to the hangar to select and configure your squad before heading out on your next mission to destroy a machine tower. But before you head off, I'll leave you to explore the facilities further by yourself. Yeah, because we want to go to the barracks again. And I want to give at least one more person an upgrade. We've got 100 points. Uh, you know, having more damage. Damage or range? Damage. That's all we can afford. Okay. And we can start the campaign. We could do that. I don't think there was anything else in the shop. Oh, she's got 100. We could... But we could only put it on the one mech. Right? Like, if I go to try to put something else, I can't do it. Oh, we can. We can. It was just for the tutorial section that we couldn't. Interesting. Okay, well then let's go back. Let's buy that. I'm assuming we can put it on one of these guys. Let's see. Flame mech or the the Thunderhead. Who was getting hurt? I think Thunderhead gets hurt worse. Alright, that's not bad. Nice. Okay, so is there anything else we want to do before we go? I don't think so. We have 30 points of valor left, but I think everything was more than that, yeah. Alright, let's try another run. And looks like there's a lot of different campaigns, so it's not just the training grounds, but we've got British Isles, Scandinavia, Western Europe, and New Germany. I'm, I'm digging this game. I think this is really cool. Uh, if it's something you guys are interested in, please let me know in the comments, because uh, I think the game comes out sometime in 2025. So by then, you know, we've already played through MechWarrior Clans and some of the other games that are coming up this year. So this might be a really good one to play. Okay, and we're going to take those three and then our command vehicle because we, we don't have a choice. So what is the... Oh, so that's how we switch the mechs. And that's how we switch the pilots. Okay, well for now, since we don't have any other pilots, let's just go with them. Okay, so we'll start the mission. I wish we could move before the mission. Let's see what we got. I'll, I'll try to see if I can do a little better about the uh, the kind of mechs. Alright, so you're going to put you here. I'm going to put you right here. No.
Okay, get him. Good. Still took more damage than I want. Alright, we need to do flame. Put you right there. Put you right there, and we're gonna put you on the back side. There we go. Not doing too bad. Okay, so we need to do the flame. We need flame turret. Flame mech. For the beginning, it's easier just to have everybody kind of together. Nicely done. All right, next wave. And let's see, we need the explosive mech. We'll bring you over there. If we keep the high ground, that'll help. Okay, so far so good. Not taking too much damage. Alright, we'll put you right here. We need the flame mech up front. I think actually you're safe where you're at. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Okay, so what we got now? Good. Okay, we got explosives coming, so we need to get probably the flamer. Move you this side. Bring in the machine gun. Ooh, that hurts. Can we bring you over there? Let's. We need to kill you. We're taking a lot of damage for no reason. There we go. Okay, so still not my best, but we're getting there. Okay, fire rate. Or do we want increased damage? Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so this time we're gonna go on the left side. And really we need to kind of repair Uh, let's see. We need the explosive turret. Probably up there. Keep you over here. Actually, you are a bad fit for this. You need to run. There we go. Okay, we, we gotta get you out. Okay, not too bad. See, we really need the explosive guy. Yeah, so you need to be right there. Come on. He's so slow to fire. We can bring them back here, I think. There we go. All right, now we're... You're in a good... Actually, let's move you here. Put you back here. Maybe just sit there just to get the... Kill them. Not really. I mean, maybe this guy is. Alright. We have five machine guns, so... We need the... That guy there. Get you here, and we'll move you to the back side. All right, not doing too bad. Is that a mech? Nope, just more troops. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Let's see, uh, we want the flame mech. 
Go ahead and bring you up here. Because really, you need everybody. We need every type. Alright, I need you to come up here and fight him. Yeah, I say that should be pretty easy for us to kill. There we go. Nice. Uh, whenever your mechs kill an enemy if afflicted by rupture, they gain increased damage. Uh, increased fire rate and suppress is good. Okay, so let's do this one. And I'm going to immediately heal you. Since you don't have armor. Alright, and you probably... It would be good for you to be up here. Probably wouldn't hurt for you to be right there. Bring you in here. Good. Depending on what's next. Okay, so we need flame. So I think we'll bring you here. And you... Capture. Good job. All right, doing good. Are you capping? It looked like it says fuel supply is delivered. What do we do? Yeah, how do I do that? Oh, like that. Okay. What are you guys? Gotta get you out of here. Yeah, we need to kill them. Yeah, it's not great. Okay, they're coming over here. Let's get the machine gunner over here. And that's what we wanted. That's the matchup we wanted. Okay, so we need the f we need the flame. We need you to come back over here. Flame. I guess up here. And I guess I'll go with him. Keep moving you around. Did we not get that? Oh, do we just have to like walk back and forth? Is that what the deal is? Let's see if we can get that done. Ooh, we're getting beat. Need to move. All right, can you go deliver this in time? We're gonna lose that guy, aren't we? Okay, did we deliver that in time? I was so focused on that, I wasn't doing what I should have been. Uh, let's do that. Healing's good. Okay, we could do an advanced one. I don't think I want to, though. Let's do this one. Okay, we are in rough shape. We're gonna move you back here. You can heal. Actually, if I could move him... Like right here? No. Right there? Maybe we can heal everybody? Do I want to turn around and fight? Come on. I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> Okay, so we got some explosive guys. We need the flame unit. Can we use another one of those? He needs to heal. We, we're in bad shape. Okay, what's coming in next? Explosives. We really need the flame unit. I'll go ahead and send you two just to have some help. now you're fine 
All right, looking good. Definitely need some range on the flame unit. All right, let's go here. Okay, and then you can go down there while we wait. Bring you over here. You want to? You want to attack? Okay. Another flame unit. Let's see. Go up right here. Gotta get you out of here. Run, run, run. I think we're doing okay. Good. Okay. Now what? Uh, we almost got that. Okay, we got that. Let's see. They're coming in there. Let's just bring all three up. Bring you back. That's bad. We did not want him to get hit by that. Okay, so we still got the win, but ugh, took a lot of damage. Okay, so we can do Renewing Blaze. When your fire mechs deal critical, they have a chance to heal. That would be nice. Uh, when your fire mechs are in cover, the damage is increased. And when you're on high ground, the movement speed. I mean, the movement speed. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Okay, and we get to see what we get here. Uh, let's just game 50. I mean, 200 is nice, but I can't afford the damage. Okay, let's see. We really need to get you repaired. Still got a few more points. Okay, they're coming over here. Let's see what takes out machine gun. Get you up here. We need to help. I really need to get you to heal, though. Oh, you got... To, yeah, I gotta heal you, too. Can't use that for a while. Uh, let's see, we'll bring you over here. Bring you there. Set you there. Put you back here. I don't like that they don't really attack while they're moving. Get you over here. Can you? Can you cap? Oh, he can. Okay, so that's something to do with that guy while we're waiting. There we go. Okay. I just, I need him to live. Yeah, I need you to live, though. You can go up here. Let's see if we can, can we heal? Yeah, that would be nice. All right, we got a flame unit. Where's our machine gunner? Oh, I can't get him out of there in time. Just not quite... I'm not fast enough, I guess. Oh, I'm supposed to deliver it over there. That's not happening. Let's go here. And go here. I don't think we're going to be strong enough to be able to do this. a little glitchy at times. It seems like the guys have a tendency to um, run back and forth, kind of.
There's not much we can do about it. We can only... Uh, we can only fight off so many guys. They're bringing in something big on the side there. Yeah, you're... You're good here. Oh, I need to go back. Flame units. Okay. Got the victory. We didn't get the item. That's okay. Alright, when your fire mechs are moving, they have increased damage resistance. That's nice. Increased damage would be better, though. Okay, so we could do this one, or we could go... I don't think we can handle advanced. Okay, so we only have two mechs. This is a major issue for us. Where are the enemies coming from? Okay, so we're gonna go over here. And you can repair, so we're going to... And I might jump here. See if we can squish some people here. Kinda wanna wait for them to drop in. See, maybe, we, can we crush you? Yeah. Good, all right. How long are you gonna be doing that over there? Next wave's over here. Yeah, we just don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of health. Health is the major issue. All right, you go over here. I mean, really, I need you to heal them, but... Okay, doing okay. The two together is not super bad. I really wish I could heal him. Next wave, where are you at? We're only three of six. Definitely not going to be able to win this run. But we can, we can go as long as we can, see if we can get some more coins. Yeah, so far I'm liking the game. I'm not very good at it. It's very chaotic. Yeah, that is a problem. Okay, yeah, we're about to lose him too. Not good. Alright, flame unit is... We, we really need the explode... Oh, he's not good to go against them. Uh, yeah, we may lose right here. Unless I can get in here... Okay, unless I can get in there and heal, which I might be able to. Let's do heal. Okay, well that's, I mean, that's getting us somewhere. Alright, more of those guys. Let's go over here. Honestly, if we could get to the higher ground, that would be better. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it, though. Alright, you can heal. I like that that one can heal on its own. Let's just do this. Let's get... See if we can get him in here like this. Since we can't do anything else. Without... Okay, we're gonna have to move him. He's gonna die to that. Ooh. Interesting. Let's see if we can help him. Hey, we won. That's shocking. Okay, so when your mechs kill an enemy reflected with burn, they gain increased damage. I mean, I really like the fire mechs getting. I mean, this seems to be the only thing we're getting, really. But why not? Okay, and we're we're getting kind of close to the bottom. I don't think we're gonna make it. I really need a way to uh, get my mech back, but it does not look like it's gonna happen. And unfortunately, I can't really take the time to to do anything. 
let's see, that allows the mech to leap. I mean, if they both land right there, I could probably, probably pounce on both of them. Okay, that worked really well. We'll see where we gotta go now. Okay, you don't have any more healing either. That's not cool. Alright, so we will move here and here. I think your guy's good there. I mean, at least we haven't lost our command vehicle. Not where I want to be standing. Okay, so we are barely, barely, barely sneaking through here. Come on. The Axis forces are approaching. Yeah, where are they coming from, though? Oh, they're coming from down here. Mech jet's in the way. I couldn't see that it was there. Hurry, they're on their way. Get another group over here. Not getting past us. I do better when there's only two mechs to have to, to handle for whatever reason. Uh, let's put. Can we go ahead and get you moving? The flame units. I mean, I'm technically better against flame units. Can we. We give him a hand here. Okay, got them. Yes, now where? At least it tells you which side it's coming from. And there's not a lot of cover, really. I mean, we could fall back. No, we're not doing that. Okay, that's going to hurt. We really need our flame unit here. Oh. Alright, we lost our flame unit. Or no, we lost our ballistic. He's gonna die, but... Okay, well we tried. We, we did pretty good that time. So we got some more scrap, got some more valor. We can upgrade our mechs next time. Um, so I'd really like to know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, it was really fun. I liked the demo a lot. I'd not very good at the game, but I think I could probably brute force my way through it with enough upgrades and just getting used to the system. But uh, I really like it, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.